All right, guys, I'm back with some, uh, we're going to do more advanced finger exercise techniques. Um, this will really help get your fingers going. These are, this is also going to help you stretch your fingers. Um, something else that I would suggest after you're doing finger exercises is to actually physically stretch your fingers. Start with your thumb, grab your other hand, and just pull it back till you start feeling everything you know, start to kind of give way and stretch out. Do the exact same thing with your other fingers. Put, put your first finger of your right hand behind the knuckle and push back, stretching the finger out. And then do, do the same thing with the other three. Just making sure that you get a good stretch on everything. Okay? If you pop your knuckles, which you shouldn't, but if you do, make sure that your fingers or you know, that your knuckles are popped. All that, that would help to loosen up your hand. Okay, this first one um, is something that I came up with to help me to have, have a better reach. So we are actually going to be reaching across five frets. Okay, we're going to start on the sixth string and the third fret. We're going to move up with our second finger to the fifth fret. And then our fourth finger to the seventh fret. Okay. Well, we're, this is what it's going to sound like. Okay. Now, as you put down a finger, leave it. So, first finger, second finger, fourth finger. Then we're going to drop down a string and do the exact same thing. Now, just move your first finger and leave your other two fingers the same. Now slide everything up to where you're playing the fifth, seventh, and ninth fret. Now we're going to drop down to the fourth string. We're going to play the sixth fret, the seventh, and ninth. Drop down a fret. Drop down a fret. Drop down a fret. Okay, let's go back up to the sixth fret. So what this exercise looks like is Now again, alternate picking is essential to being able to get speed on this. Okay? Now, a very similar exercise. Instead of working the second and fourth finger, it's going to be working the third and fourth. This is a combination that most guitar players have problems getting to work. Because normally when you move your pinky, your third finger moves with it. Okay? So it's basically training your hand to be able to move them individually. So again, we're going to start in the third fret, but this time, each fret takes a finger. Well, we're not doing the second finger, so it's going to be first fret in the third, uh, fifth fret with the third, and sixth fret with the fourth finger. Drop it down a string. So on the fifth string. Now jump up to the 5th fret, 7th and 8th, and then drop down to the 5th string. Now we're going to go to the 4th string. This time we are going to do the 6th, 8th, and 9th. Drop down a fret, drop down a fret, drop down a fret. Take it back up. So when you put it all together, you've got this. Now, when you get to where you can start doing both those exercises, you're ready to move on to my next lesson, which I, I will post here in a little bit. But this is very important. 
get this down before you try to go to the next one. The next one is much more difficult. All right. And um, again, don't forget your alternate picking with your pick. Go back to the exercise that I showed you of staying on one string and just going back and forth. That's very important. That will help your progress, help you become a faster, cleaner player. Okay, please drop me a like and a subscribe. Every little bit helps. I hope that these videos that I'm posting are helping some of you. Um, again, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. There's no such thing as a dumb question. All right, guys. Have a great day.